Hey guys, what's up and welcome at the fifth vlog already. I've been working on vlogs for five, four to five weeks right now. So time flies when you're having fun, they say. Um, I just recorded a new podcast, which is all about why it's important to post differently on all the social media platforms. So it's a good read, you can find it as a read on my website. But also as a podcast episode and you can find the podcast on soundcloud.com or in the iTunes store. So if you're interested, just listen to it and see if you can learn anything from it. Um, I'm about to record a new podcast episode with Leonika as well. Um, she's a booker and I'm really curious about her opinion on the music industry right now and what she's doing for a living. Yeah, so it should be informative as well. So for now, I want to thank you all for checking the vlog. Let me know what you guys think so far. If you have feedback, put it in the comments. I'll read them all and see what I can do with them. I always want to grow, so let me know. Have fun watching vlog number five. It's been uh, Sinterklaas here in Holland, which means we get presents. At least the little people get presents. Uh, but I got a present this time as well here at the office. And I actually got balloon modeling. Um, as you can see, you probably get the picture. So I had this uh, instructions on the back, which were really useful, but uh, at least I tried and see what I came up with. So yeah, it's up to you to decide if it's a giraffe or it's a llama or I don't really know. Uh, I'm just really happy that it worked out. So let me know, llama or giraffe? I just finished a coaching session through Skype and I want to show you guys how I do this because normally when people visit the office we can do it one-on-one -on -one, but since we have the internet and since everything is international nowadays I also have a lot of international clients um, and the coaching sessions just go through Skype so as you can see here this is my board this is my setup so laptop with Skype uh, let me see, earplugs, yep, and uh, plans, <laughs> and this is the board, so when we Skype, we just do it like this, you can see the screen, you can see me, and that's how it works, we just have a chat like you're sitting right there, which is where you normally are, so that's how I work with international clients, um, like I said, I just finished one, good talk, also did an interview this morning with a student who needs to uh, research mental health for artists it was really uh, was really cool as well and for now just continuing the day going to uh, escape room tonight so that should be cool I've never done it before let's see how that works out I uploaded two new videos this week. One was about um, why record labels aren't really necessary anymore. Um, and that's because I got that question a lot on my social media pages and I think it's time to change in the music industry. So that's why I posted the video. A lot of comments on that. Let me know your thoughts. Like why do you still need a record label nowadays in the music industry? In my opinion, as a beginner, you don't really need a record label and you could do everything by yourself. Of course, record labels are still needed on, on some different kind of points, but if you want to know more, just watch the video. It's up on my YouTube channel or on my social media pages as well. Um, the second one was my talk with Leonike. She's a booker. Uh, she is the owner of Lewine. She's the booker of uh, the likes of Lucas and Steve, Franco Man, uh, Brock and Fitch, all those guys. So the more house, tech house kind of DJs. But she's been in the industry for a long time and she knows a lot about booking DJs. So if you want to know what bookers are looking for and what reasons are for them to go look for you and go search for new talent, um, yeah, check that out as well. It's also on my YouTube and on my Facebook page. 